Throughout the years, there have been many jobs that have come and gone. Some of these may seem quite strange, while others have been taken over by technology. In today's video, we will have a closer look at some of the odd jobs that are no longer around. In the 1950s, the milkman was every bit as common as the mailman. Every morning, the milkman would deliver bottles and jugs filled to the brim with milk. Some would even deliver other kitchen essentials like eggs and butter. Household refrigerators soon rose in popularity, which meant the milk stayed around, but the milkman profession did not. Today, elevators go up and down with a simple push of a button, but that wasn't always the case. Elevator operators were once used and they were in charge of controlling everything from the doors, capacity of passengers, as well as the direction and speed of the elevator. By the 1950s, automatic elevators had become more common and people had to push their own buttons on the elevator. The modern day hacker is really a bad thing. If you hear that term, then you'll probably picture a computer hacker, but originally it was something completely different. Hackers were known as woodcutters and eventually their jobs were axed thanks to advancements in technology. Imagine a life without a backspace. Linotype operators were highly skilled workers that used a linotype, which was a hot metal typesetting system to produce the daily newspaper in the late 1880s. Photo typesetting was created in the early 1960s and it replaced all operator positions. A gandy dancer sounds like someone kicking up their legs in an old saloon, but it has nothing to do at all with moving your hips. Gandy dancer was a slang term for a railroad worker who maintained the tracks years before the work was done by machines. Chimney sweepers have been around for hundreds of years and they really peaked during the Industrial Revolution. The profession fell into a steep decline after the adoption of gas and electric alternatives that came around. Here's a little fun fact for you. Door-to-door -door chimney sweeps were called Nellers. In today's time period, we are all familiar with computers, but back in the day it was much different. A computer was usually a woman that would calculate figures and crunch numbers all day long by hand. Yes, you heard that right. No calculators allowed. A great example of this can be seen in the movie Hidden Figures. Billy boys were young apprentices in training that would make tea for the other men at work. In a way, this is sort of similar to an intern that fetches a load of Starbucks for the office. Sometimes things never change. A bowling alley pin setter was a position where workers would manually organize the bowling pins for every game. If you were needing a side job, then this would be right up your alley. Unfortunately, this job was sent to the gutter once mechanical pin setters were invented by Gottfried Schmidt in 1936. Switchboard operators directed communications and connected long-distance calls before the digital exchange switched up the game. By the early 80s, the position became obsolete. Typists are certainly still in demand today, but they don't use typewriters. They were once a popular position within publishing, administrative, and clerical industries. This role has been upgraded with computers. A catchpole was derived from the Old English word cas and the medieval Latin word polis which means chick. The job title catchpole was a debt collector. There are still many debt and tax collectors today, but they certainly don't go by this bizarre British title. A clock winder did exactly what the word implies, winds clocks. Eventually, electric clocks became popular and they required less maintenance and fewer repairs. So the clock winder position more or less wound down. An Iceman sounds like some sort of prehistoric caveman, but in the 1800s and early 1900s, it was a big profession. These men had the task of hand sawing individual ice blocks from lakes and rivers in order to help store cold food throughout the winter. Once refrigerators were invented, this heavy lifting job chilled out. A fuller is a job in which a person washed clothes. 
In the medieval era, fullers cleaned cloth to rid textiles of oil and dust. Afterwards, the material was bound together to create clothing and other items. A hobbler may have gotten its nickname in the mid-1800s from hobbling around and balancing on boat decks, but the real job was to tow river and canal boats. Today there are similar deckhand positions around, but they don't go by hobblers. Sneaky Hush shopkeepers got their name from keeping liquor sales on the Hush Hush during Prohibition. Today you can find your favorite cocktail just about anywhere. Knocker uppers were employed to shoot peas at windows or use long poles to tap on the glass in order to wake people up for work or somewhere else important. Once the mechanical alarm clock came around, people no longer had a need for the knocker upper. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, a lamplighter was someone who would light the street lamps. Today there is only a small number of them that exist since the majority of street lighting is now electric. I think that we can all agree that we need a little distraction from work every so often. Employers used to hire lectors, which were a source of entertainment back in the 1920s. They would read news and literature out loud to employees. Imagine having one of these around instead of Facebook or music. Log drivers were something you could see up until the 1970s. These people would help move huge tree trunks from the forest to the sawmills for construction purposes. Unfortunately, this job didn't make the cut as modern transportation came around. During the 19th century, medicinal leeches were thought of as a medical miracle that would suck toxic blood and diseases from the body. Leech collectors would wade out into the water and collect them from their own legs or even an animal that they took out there with them. However, this profession was stopped because more diseases seemed to spread, which sucked in its own way. Mudlarks was an occupation that was dominated by those in extreme poverty. They would scavenge through river mud in search of valuable items which would be resold to the public. In the early 1900s, this job was viewed as unlawful and frowned upon. Necessary women were people who were absolutely necessary before the colonial period. These women would empty chamber pots filled with waste throughout the day. When indoor plumbing came along, this profession was flushed away. Phrenologists were people who were masters of the mind. It was a science where they would measure intelligence based on the shape of your head. This practice eventually became disbanded in 1967. Powder monkeys were young men who stuffed gunpowder into cannons. The monkey part may have stemmed from them constantly being on the move around and in between cannons. As artillery innovations advanced, the powder monkey position went up into smoke. In the 18th and 19th century, med students needed bodies to practice on. Resurrectionists would dig up dead bodies and sell them to medical schools for money. Of course, this profession was banned and many laws have been put in place to prevent this from happening. Railroads once employed signalmen who would manage multiple switches and levers by hand to ensure that trains were moving in the right direction. In the 1960s, railways became computerized and signalmen were thrown off the tracks. A town crier sounds like a crybaby, but it wasn't. They were in charge of screaming important news from street corners, which was a tradition going back to the 18th century. Their booming voices could be heard throughout the streets, but not as effective as radio, TV, or Twitter is today. A badger was a middleman between a farmer and the farmer's market. They bought produce from the farmers and then would upsell it to the customers at the farmer's market. The term badger that we use today came from the persistent sales tactics that these middlemen employed. A gong farmer was someone who dug out and removed human waste from privies and cesspits between the 15th and 16th centuries. It's truly a job that would stink. As modern sewage systems came along, these gong farmers went down the drain. Blacksmiths are something that most of us are familiar with. But have you ever heard of redsmiths? 
These were men who shaped copper into different artifacts and the name came from the shiny bronze color of copper. This profession is still around, but they aren't anywhere near as popular as they once were. Today, these are more commonly known as metalsmiths. For many of us, it's difficult to imagine ourselves doing one of these odd jobs. But if you're hungry and you need some work, it certainly wouldn't be out of the question. Can you think of any other odd jobs that we missed? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching.